planned to upload a makeup video today, but a couple of days ago, something started happening. Uh, I was starting to feel this kind of energy going through my body that were like uh, all of my body fluids were a little more uh, active, energized. It's as if, uh, like normally if I was sitting here talking to you, I'd be sitting like this. But for some reason, I'm just a little bit more forward and a little bit more excited. And I realized it's the eclipse. <laughs> there is an eclipse coming for the first time. North America is going to witness a total solar eclipse since, let me get the, the date right here, since 1918. And um, where I am living in Los Angeles, we're going to get to see about 60% totality. And depending on where you are in the United States, you might see little more, little less, or complete total to, uh, you know, the, the sun completely blocked by the moon. So I wanted to talk a little bit about eclipses and their history and and what they've meant to civilizations and cultures over the years. So of course, I have notes. <laughs> um, but before I start, um, I want to say that, uh, let me give you like the details. If you go to a website, and I'll link all this, this below, but I believe it's called timeanddate.org. I'll link it below. Um, but if you go there they, and put in your location, they can tell you when the eclipse will start in your area and what time uh, you'll get totality and what time it will end. So for example, here in Los Angeles, um, it starts at 9.05 on Monday. Uh, the maximum totality will be at 10.21 and then it ends at 11.44. So that's about two hours and 40 minutes or so. But if you happen to be in Nashville, and I have some friends in Nashville, so if you're watching, hi guys. Um, the, the, uh, it will start at 11.58 local time. Totality will happen at a do a dollar, at 1.28 in the afternoon, and totality will last for a full two minutes, and then it will end at 2.54 local time. So your duration is going to be almost three hours. So, um, guys, this is, this is awesome <laughs> that we're going to be able to witness this. Like I said, for the first time since uh, that little movement is my dog, he's walking around in the room. Uh, that, for the first time since 1918, sorry about that again. Let me see if I can settle him down. So historically, eclipses are known for launching us into a new chapter. Uh, for closing the door on something in our lives that doesn't serve us and opening a new door to something much more positive. It's, it's bringing positive change, whether it be to, uh, in a work situation or a relationship or even our thoughts. If we have had negative thoughts that don't serve us, the, uh, eclipses are known to sort of bring an end to those thoughts and open up new, more positive um, outlets, <laughs> for lack of a better word. So uh, be, on the, be aware of that. I think maybe that's what kind of got me started a couple of days ago. Um, you know, the anticipation of something, the anticipation of something good. So um, you, you'll want to be uh, ready to welcome the unexpected, to welcome change. In ancient cultures, people's lives were sort of revolved around the sun that you planted your crops along with you know the seasons and the sun was responsible for for nurturing and growing those crops um and so as you can imagine if something happened to block that sun it would be quite disturbing um so many, many ancient cultures were afraid of, uh, you know, became frightened during a, a, a solar eclipse like this. Many ancient civilizations viewed this as a monster eating the sun. So they developed ways of, of thwarting and coping with this. They developed dances and uh, rituals, noise making. In fact, <laughs> Uh, this tradition of making noise, banging on pots and things like that, still goes on uh, today at the Griffith Park Observatory during a, an eclipse like this. 
uh, sort of a reach back to that tradition. Uh, so, <laughs> so my favorite story is was written by uh, Herodotus, which was sort of he is a Greek who is known as the sort of father of history, and he wrote about a battle that was occurring in the year. Da, 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 585 BC, and it was against uh, the two sides were the Medes and the Lydians or Lydians, and um, in the middle of this battle of the battlefield, an eclipse happened, and the leaders on either side took this as a sign that uh, maybe it was time to sit down and negotiate. Immediately, the combatants, when uh, under the the spell of the eclipse, they stopped fighting. And once it was over, the leaders sat down and they negotiated a peaceful solution to their differences. I love that. <laughs> so, so goes the power of eclipse of, of a solar eclipse. Uh, all right. So how to view, how, how's the best way to view this eclipse? As you can imagine, the safety glasses, uh, which were, have been available all over, are probably sold out at this point. Um, they were available at places like Walmart, Best Buy. In fact, I'll link uh, a website that will tell you not only where, uh, if there is any available, where that would be locally near you and also the big chains. But it also tells you how to sort of make a homemade way to look at the eclipse because um, you can obviously Google a lot of this info, but basically, if you want to look directly at it, you need a sa you need the safety glasses and not just sunglasses. That's not enough. You um, and there have been a lot of counterfeit glasses on the market, so you know be aware of that. And this website that I that I mentioned will tell you the brands. If you don't have one of these brands, then uh, you have one of the counterfeits. So. But at this point, uh, pretty much everything is probably sold out. So the only time that it's safe to look directly at the eclipse is during those two minutes of totality, if you happen to be in one of those areas that are going to experience totality. Um, there's, uh, you can go again online, you can find exactly, if you don't know yet, if you're under the path of the totality, um, you can go to, you can Google and find out, you know, the path across North America. But either way, whether you are under it or not, there's going to be a lot of energy coming from this event, positive, spiritual, life-changing, situation-changing energy. So I decided yesterday to um, see if I can maximize this energy because I really want to see positive change um, in my life and really in, in, in this country. So what I did, I went over to a little uh, place called Energy Muse. They are an online retailer, but their um, headquarters are here in Torrance, and they have a little shop um, right, in their, right in their headquarters that the public can go into. They have great prices on crystals, and I went and I picked up three crystals. I picked up this clear quartz, which is beautiful, and they also have great prices on their crystals as well. Um, but I picked up this clear quartz, and this stone is for clarity. It also amplifies the energy of any other crystal. I also picked up a rose quartz. And this stone uh, is for love. And there's my rose quartz. And for wealth and uh, abundance, I picked up a pyrite. And I hope I'll do close-ups of all of these because this pyrite um, under the light is unbelievable. The, it's called fool's gold, and, and that's the reason why. It's so stunning to look at. So, and I also already had, whoops, and I also had for healing uh, my Jasper. So I will be um, using all of those crystals during the eclipse. And uh, for good measure, I happened to stop in at Home Goods, and 
This is a selenite, and the, or selenite. And this, um, there you go. This is an incredible stone. They had this on the sa on on the sale rack, although it wasn't on sale, but still, they they uh, uh you know had a few several large crystal um, stones for uh, sale, but this one I figured was probably you know absolutely real because selenite is abundant; it's everywhere, and um, this is known to also amplify. Uh, it's known for clarity, and it also amplifies um, any energy that comes, you know, that it comes, that is around. So, tomorrow, not tomorrow, hopefully this will go up on Saturday. So, Monday, I am going to be standing outside underneath the eclipse, barefoot, in wet grass, and I will have all of my stones with me, and I will be praying for peace for positive change and um, experiencing one of one of uh, the God and nature's amazing, amazing moments, historical moments. Um, I'm also going to be charging this guy tomorrow. I've, I'm going to cleanse it today and then uh, charge it during the eclipse. And if you want to more know more about that, you can also I'll link some places where you can go and read about crystals and charging them and cleansing them and things like that. So, guys, uh, if you can uh, view it, if you're, if you're under the totality, I wish I was there with you. I will be with you in spirit. But either way, see if you can get outside for a while during, those, during that two-hour period, two, three-hour period, and uh, experience the full uh, healing energy of this eclipse. And if you have something special planned for uh, this, this uh, monumental event, then please tell me down in the uh, description below because I would love to have it and I would love to hear about it and maybe um, I might try and do something similar. Everybody, take care. Have a wonderful day. And uh, until I see you again, I love you all and I will see you very, very soon. Bye! Happy Eclipse! <laughs>